simp. To anyone that doesn't know the meaning of that word, it's basically someone that does way too much for someone they like. And most of the time, that person isn't their girlfriend. They're really down bad. Now why am I giving you this analysis, ladies and gentlemen? Well, your boy has been one of those bastards. But don't get it twisted. I wasn't on my knees looking up to women that like didn't even respect me or know who I was. Nah. But once I got here to Portugal, let's just say I was in a dark place. Yeah, that brother's starving. <laughs> you know how it is. First few weeks, gorgeous. You're just trying to take in everything new. You know, that plant that looks really weed. Really weed? <laughs> that plant that looks really weird. You know, everything new. Just taking it in. Until, you know, after a few weeks, you notice that you're not really making any friends. And then you notice that you're a loser with no friends to show for it. I was extremely down bad. That was until I made the conscious decision to put an end to my suffering. Yeah, boys, I was gonna get a girlfriend. Now look, your boy is super attractive. I'm a freaking 10 out of uh, 10. But I had no game. No game at all. Like, I could be put in a situation where I'm with this beautiful girl. I get her attention and I don't know what to say. And at that point, I'm just gonna come out as a creep. And we don't want no creeps in the streets. So, I had to do what no man should ever do. And I made that decision. I had to download Twitter. You guys know the drill. Got out the phone, took out the best photos this world has ever seen. That those photos would make any girl's heart melt. Like for real. You know? And I was ready to get on that swiping game. At this point in my life, I barely even knew what Tinder was. So I got on YouTube, watched like a five minute video explaining the basics, and like I thought I was gonna be a pro. But that could not be further from the truth. I spent countless hours swiping, swiping, swiping like I'm the freaking fox from Dora the Explorer. And you know who I match with? A fine looking mama that looked like she could take care of all my mortal needs. Psych, zero. I got zero matches. Zero matches. I wasted so much damn time on that app for nothing. I was completely defeated. At that point, I'm pretty sure that most of you would have, you know, un uninstalled the app, you know, suffer for the rest of your life alone and sad. And I was on the verge of doing that. That was until Tinder saw my suffering and gave me a hand. They're like, damn, bro, no matches? That's pretty sad, but we can maybe help you with that. You see, there's someone that actually liked you and she's actually waiting for you. I was hyped, you know? Those countless hours won't waste it for nothing. That's not, yeah. Yes, hell yeah. Hey, come on, baby, come on. Yes, come on. So I go to the section where they actually told me to go to see the person that liked me and I had indeed gotten a like from a girl, a real girl, but I couldn't see it. And you know what I had to do next? I had to pay, of course. And me being the thirsty dumbass that I know, I actually paid 27 bucks for this feature. Well, on the bright side, it did come with some extra features, but at the time, that was the one that I mainly wanted to use, you know, to see who was this girl that actually liked me. And you would think that after wasting my hard-earned money, I would have some good news. But let's just say that um, me and that girl, we were not, you know, I didn't find her uh, wifey material. Not, not saying anything bad, but that wasn't exactly what I was looking for. But on the bright side, I didn't have to swipe for long because I matched with this wonderful looking woman with a beautiful body. I didn't waste no time and went straight in to spitting my awful game that I had at the time and wishing for the best. And to my surprise, it worked. Uh, I quickly asked for a number so we could get out of Tinder because no one usually uses Tinder like that. You get Tinder or you use Tinder to get her out of Tinder, you know? We get to WhatsApp and this girl is ticking all the boxes. She's beautiful, intelligent, good sense of humor. Like it was way too good to be true. But we all know that face-to-face -face communication is the key to actually revealing all of this. So after like two days of talking on WhatsApp, I asked her if she wanted to meet up, you know, so, I, so we could see each other. And she told me that she actually had time that day after leaving school. And I really had free time, so I just went there. 
uh, we met up and guys what you see in the internet is a freaking lie you might be thinking that I got catfish but no 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 I hit the freaking jackpot she was better than advertised she was super super beautiful and friendly after greeting each other we just started talking you know opening up I bought some ice cream and it was a really good vibe she had to hurry home for some reason and this was a meeting for us just to you know see each other so it didn't have to be super long just as we were saying our goodbyes she actually came up to me and in a very soft voice said Dave do you maybe want to go on a date this coming weekend guys we did it we have liftoff this is freaking awesome I was already nervous as hell just meeting up with this girl let alone have the courage to ask her on a date but she had her mindset and her priorities set as well <laughs> she knew exactly what she wanted and she acted upon it so like I answered so fast that it actually came out a little creepy I was like yeah, yeah of course of course I want to go yeah we can go definitely yes 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 come to papa she just laughed and then you know she said goodbye we hugged once again and then she left and I was just all day like I was happy as hell like <laughs> I don't even know how to say it I felt like the man securing a date was such a baddie. Like I went to the store, bought me some some special, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not ashamed to say that I actually called my brother, like my big brothers, to actually ask about advice on dates and stuff. <laughs> hey, no shame. And when I realized the day had finally arrived, it was gonna go down in a decent restaurant that I had never heard of. Nowadays it's like a regular, like my family goes there like all the time now. She was the one that did the reservations and everything. Jeez, such a dependable woman, man. Me, being the gentleman I am, of course I went a little early, you know, just to set a good example. Once there, uh, I was escorted to our table and I noticed that there were like two extra chairs. But you know some of those restaurants where you go and then once you sit, they take off the chairs? Yeah, I thought that was gonna be the case. So, you know, I wait, I wait, and there she was in all her glory. Beautiful dress. And I just felt like a very, very lucky man. I don't want to bore you with the small talk we had. We spoke for a little while and then she mentioned that she had to go meet up with someone outside. I took that opportunity to actually go up and serve my food since it was a buffet. You know, I'm there in the serving place and I'm smiling. Like you could notice that I felt like a very lucky man. <laughs> and it's really weird. I really was experiencing or showing simp behavior back then. I'm glad that I changed. That is scary. But yeah, I was like, I'm gonna get lucky tonight. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna have so much fun. So still with my big ass smile, I go back to the table and I noticed that there's a little baby girl and a man sitting on the table. You know, I was like, okay, maybe it's just a friend that went up to greet, you know, that happens. So I get there and I greet. She quickly starts introducing them. She's like, Oh, this is Freddy. I don't remember the guy's name. Let's call him Freddy. And he's the one that brought my baby. I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, this is my one-year-old daughter. You know, guys, once I heard that, I looked at the guy and I started thinking that I've seen him somewhere. And I had. Turns out it was on her lock, like unlock screen on her phone. Yeah, there was a picture of them together. What? Yeah, guys, I was completely caught off by surprise. Remember those two chairs that I thought were a mistake turns out they had a reason now I'm here potentially going on a date with a girl her baby dad and her daughter like I don't know if this guy knows what's going on if he's into open relationship what the hell is going on I am confused nothing was making sense anymore this was still dinner and I really don't like wasting food so you know I start eating there's a silence for a little while until he breaks it by talking to me since I really wanted to let go of the awkward air that was around us, I started speaking to him back. And turns out the guy's really cool. He's also from Angola and he likes basketball. I'll always vibe with someone that knows and likes basketball. So we chat for a little while, telling some jokes until I gained the courage to ask him if that was his daughter. He smiled, he was like, <laughs> no. I'm like, why did, why did he have to look so serious? I actually thought he wanted to kick my ass. I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> After that, I was really confused. Like, they're a couple, and he brought her kid to the restaurant, but it's not his daughter. Who the hell is this girl? <sighs> I, I was... <laughs> so, since I was the first one to serve my food, 
I was the first one to finish. Even though it hurt leaving without eating more of that delicious food because the food was really good actually, one of the reasons why we go there now, I couldn't take one more second of that place. So, got my phone out and secretly called a Uber. Waited for a little while and once it was two minutes away, I was like, ah guys, I have to go. They're like, why, why do you have to go? My dumbass didn't think of a reason, like a lie. I was just like, I'm tired. They're like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, bye. See, without me knowing, she followed me. We go outside, and this girl, I'm thinking she's gonna explain, like, oh no, um, he's just a friend or something. She's like, are you okay? Did that bother you? Did that bother me, guys? What do you think? Yes, it did. But I was like, oh, what? No, don't worry about it. Nah, it's cool, it's cool. She's like, mm, okay. She comes forward and kisses me on the lips. Random, but yeah, that also happened. My man, after that, I got in my Uber and skedaddled. That was by far the strangest date I've ever had in my life. After that, she actually tried to contact me a lot and um, I just ignored her. You know, she isn't a bad person, but I really didn't want to get involved in whatever the hell was going on in that relationship. But yeah, guys, that's basically the story. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. But before you go, make sure you watch this video about the time I almost stole my dad's credit card to give it to a freaking internet scammer and almost ruined my life. Or this one about the day I found out I had a 75 year old grandma stalking me. Well, with that being said, it's been your boy Dave Matsushi. Peace out.